Man, we've got some serious music this morning. Isn't this your favorite song? It is. Okay, so I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going with Seven Wood. It's like in my video for how to break 80. 225 plus club, Seven Wood. And then the 100 to 160 approach shot. So that's gonna be eight iron down and inside 100 with all my wedges. And we should break 80. If we don't, well, then it means I've done something wrong. There's also the sign is saying, Dear Distinguished Golfer. Uh, that's not you. T there. Seven wood straight down the chute. Easy life today. Love the glove. Looks like a, you look like a hitman. Oh, It'll be okay. I thought it was going to draw, but beautiful. Let's get in play. Get on the green. GTFO. Tree right in front of me. Maybe I can get up over it quickly in time. Okay, well, we popped out onto the fairway. We're going to be okay up there. You want to hit the fairway though if you're going to be hitting a freaking seven wood. But the best thing about an experiment like this is that it will show you your your weaknesses and where you can still work on. Mm. 44. Oh, what a chip. Roll out. Oh, Good shot. Good man shot. can play. No. Nope. Jeez, that's a bit quicker than earlier this week. Yeah, just a touch, but thanks for the line. Oh. There it is. <sighs> Yum. <laughs> 127 this is what I don't like this is what I don't like 127 I think I'm going to take a soft pitching wedge because this is my I've actually ordered an approach wedge from Srixen to try to get this this distance right 125 I get it so much and I actually screw it up so much that I'm losing shots on it okay that's good See, look at that. When I play these shots, I just pull it and it's short. Look at that. Chipping the pot. I've got to get that approach wedge, man. Nice. Okay, players, we are suffering from 125. It's not my favorite distance. And it's in my head now, because every time I get it, it's, it's, it's too far for my 50 degree. And then I have to try to play a partial pitching wedge, which I just, if I catch it well, it goes 135. And then if I catch it not great like that, it goes like short like this. So we don't want to miss greens from 125. That's why I say in the video, you have to be good from wedge range in. Run out. Nice. Oh, putt. Okay, now I've, got to, I've, I've only just got the seven wood, so I have to work out the shape I'm going to hit on it. I don't know, because I can go big draw, but then it's uncontrollable. So I think I'll try straight shots, no kissing. Oh, that deserved a little kissing. Oh, Shots. thank you, thank you. Now, players, people think that sometimes it's showing off or whatever. I'm actually showing you an alternate way to play. I'm so sick of all this distance, 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 Bryson. I like Bryson DeChambeau, but not everybody's going to put on 25, 30 yards in their drive. It's just not going to happen. So I'm going the opposite way. I'm getting, I'm getting less, I'm going less distance. We're going to show you how to play with less distance. So we've got 113 yards in. 111 playing 113, that's a perfect 50 degree for me, if I hit it perfectly. But we're going to show you another way to play. Less distance, more fun. Stop trying to be Bryson, stop trying to be Cameron Champ. That ain't you, guy. You ain't that guy, you ain't that guy. Easy swinging, want to break 80. Like I say in the video, go watch the lecture, the lecture video. We're doing 225 plus if you have it. So we want to be 225. That's normally my three iron off the tee. Trying the seven wood. You want 100 to 160 yard approaches, eight iron down for me. And you want to have be good inside 100, chipping and putting. Everything, bunker play, putting, chipping, pitching, everything with a wedge in hand. You're going to break 80.
Get up and down in three shots with a wedge in your hand. You're breaking 80 every time. Oh, hey. did you see that kick? Hey, Dave, Good these from things the are home. rolling better than Wednesday. Wednesday was an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Wednesday was really bad. That wasn't enough. Woo! Good check, it's gonna go. Uh, I think right over the little palm tree and left of the big one, it's gonna be money. That's payday right there. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay, we've got 3.30. We wanna leave ourselves, we wanna leave ourselves 1.40. Can we go 190? Let's try another seven wood. And then that's gonna leave us a wedge, some kind of wedge in. Well, the three, 330, no. Can I hit two, two eight irons? I don't wanna hit eight iron into this green. Too difficult. Shot. Man. I'm glad I took the two iron out the bag. I can't hit a two iron like that. Whoa. Can't That's hit a beautiful. two iron like that. That was the wrong thing there because I did 330. It was obviously to the to the trees at the back. Mm. So I've hit the wrong layup. I wanted 100 or less. I wanted maybe 80. That's a nice full so swing. So I've got this partial shot, but I think luckily playing this we at the range, it. just got to keep those elbows together. Give it like a little three quarter shot. No, half a shot like this. Yeah. I remember it. But that's not really it. No. <laughs> I think I decelerate. It goes the other way. I knew it. Why don't I just listen to myself? Oh, look at that kick. In! Oh! Kenny no good! Plian Kenny! <laughs> Come around. That's not good there. No, that's, that's fun not good tree. there. Oh, you might be short. Short bunker. Yeah. Come on! Nice. <laughs> I got 282. I want to have a 100 yarder. 282. I'm just going to take the 8 because that's my max. I'm going to leave myself a little wedge in there. 282. I might leave myself either a 50, a 50 or 56 degree in. Quite happy with that. Shit. I like that. that. That's perfect. Just a little layup. Yeah. Sit down. In the hole. Got to hit it, man. <sighs> Caddy. Caddy, no good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, little pitching wood. I think I've got an, oh, gee, I think I've got another seven wood in. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is, this is the day of my dreams. But the best thing about this is I, I can hit this from 230. If I hit a two iron, I don't know where it's going to go. At least with this, I feel like I have some control. And I will have that soft landing. And the best part about it is it gets through the turf. Not like a two iron, it just gets stuck. On the green, what a shot. Over. How are you? How are you?
That is a very bad strike. Mm. I would say, I would say top, top 10 worst. Oh, not quite that line. Nice. Okay. Nice. But. What a caddy. Caddy. You, no? You. My plan. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. The, that's the thing about those uh, dry needles is that they help a lot. Yeah, then, but you're going to be in pain for the next couple of days. Because like, I want to hit the 7 from 265 here. But you know what's going to happen, right? It'll uh, draw left? No, because I don't know what's going to happen. So I better leave myself a handy. So let's go, let's go with a niner and see if we can hit a nice one. If not, we're going to leave ourselves Roughly 120, which should be okay. Oh, that's a shot. That that's should be lovely. all right. That should be all right. Nenga, how much we got you, Neng? Get well, I. Oi, Roy Hock yard, play on caddy. Roy Hock. Roy Hock. Not Roy Ha. My caddy said it's 105 and it's 106. So we're going to change Neng. We're going to change you. Next hole, you're going back to the clubhouse. Unlucky. That is so bad. Because I'm standing over there thinking, Matt, hit a 50, 50 degree. It's like a three quarter one. Hit a 50 degree. Because you have to hit a 56 hard, more spin. Less distance, more grip back. Now I'm chipping for the birdie instead of putting. Dipper on this. It landed. It must have landed around here somewhere. Yeah, see, it bounced and just shot but back. But that's what I'm saying. It's like hit a hard 56 and rip it and have less distance. Or just hit a soft 50, five yards past the pin. And I've got a birdie putt. Happy days. Now I'm, I look like a muhu down here. But I have been working on this shot, so. Right. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I've been working on the shot, Neng. <laughs> Neng, you taught me that shot. Remember at the practice green? You taught me all about that. And then you taught me about the birds and the bees. What a par, baby. What a player. That's all Neng. That's all Neng. Well done, Neng. Good job. And then he pounds one down the center. Uh, yeah, definitely change that shaft. Horrible shaft. Your face is a horrible shaft. <laughs> I mean, if it's 200 and I hit it eight time, I'm going to leave myself a 40 yard pitch or so. So I'll probably be, I'll, I'll stay short of that bunker short. So that's fine. If I hit a, if I hit a seven wood, soft. At worst, I'm going to be over the back five yards. Or in the bunker short which is shot I don't know to hit it soft so let's rather go with a committed eight I mean it's a bogey hole every day anyway mm. but if we can get a good pitch we can maybe make a par I and mean, if I had made some putts on the greens I would have had a couple birds as well so a little bit of pressure here yeah I kind of nice. want that I want that angle in across the green I don't, I don't want to go over the bunker. Through that chute as well. Perfect. Okay, we've been practicing a 50-yard 50, 50 shot at the range. Well, not practicing. One day. Let's see if I can remember it. It was a 50-yarder. Keep my forearms together. Felt like half a swing. Okay, that's not 50 yards. That's about 30. Oi, Hugh. Oi, Hugh. I love this putter for short putts. Oh, on it. 
get in there. Has Matt finally hit this green? Oh, I hit the green. Get there. Oh, it comes backward. It's amazing how oh, much that. Man, I'm so hungry right now. It's yeah, unbelievable. Me too. What a caddy. Caddy, DT suit. DT suit. It's your favorite number. I hate this number, 120. Okay, try the no wrist pitching. Chip. Hey! <laughs> what a chip! 60 or putt? I think you've got to putt that. I mean, whatever you're confident with. I mean, I'll practice this. Okay, well, I can't hit this green. It's 179. I may reach the front edge, so I'm going to go front edge there with, a, with an 8 iron. Let's see how we go. We need a nice, good strike. We'll go at that caddy running there with the umbrella. Little draw. Oh, that's a hook. That's a hook. And I hit a flop shot from 41 yards. And I did not make the putting surface. That's me over there. I'm not going to reach this green in one. So we take what we get and we don't get upset. And then we hold the next one for the passkey. Up, down, baby. Yeah. Nice. Um, <sighs> we take the four. Oof. What a shot. Chill yeah, the but day, it's that like, that's skied. That's because that. the... Now players, this is exactly why this is a stupid shot. Hitting the ball hard is stupid. I have nothing more than that 230, I don't know how many yards that thing goes. 230, 235. And I pumped one on a 450 yard hole. All I need is two seven woods and I'm next to the green. Now, with only an eight iron in the bag, how much do I have in? Because I've pounded that off the tee. Now I've got 185. My eight iron goes like... 160. So I'm going to leave myself a 25-yard pitch. 25 yards short of the green is bunker. So I have to be highly accurate with this, or I have to hit this one hard. So it's two hard shots in a row. Not clever. A standard seven wood out there leaves me 225. Nice, easy approach. Seven wood, no brainer. Now I'm at 185. What do I do? I can try a soft, a soft seven wood or a hard eight, but the seven wood is going to be better. But I've never hit a soft seven wood. So I've given myself no options. What's the other option? 185, hit an 85 yard shot to leave the 100 yard shot. It's stupid. Now I've given myself bad options. Okay, so we're gonna go with a soft seven because I've forced myself into it. I just, I don't know, what do you think? Should I do a, a soft seven or lay it up to a nice sandwich? What's behind? Behind is not much. I can't hit a soft back. seven, so I, I'm not going to do it. It's stupid. I've, I've really messed myself up here. So 185, we want to leave ourselves a nice little wedge in. We want a 100-yard shot. I'm going to take a 50-degree. This is, this is just imbecilic.
And then look at this now. Now I'm frustrated because I was so stupid off the tee. I've got it in a fairway, but I'm so angry. <laughs> well, I'm, that's a hundred yard in. Yeah, but I didn't think. No brain. No brain, no pain. A little 95 yarder, yarder. So I'm happy with that. We're going to do a 56, but I haven't really been working on my wedge as much. So I'm going to try and de-loft de this one a bit and make sure I pitch it past the hole and let it spin back, you know. A lot of rip on this 56. That's okay there. You, mate? Yeah. Okay, 185. We've got the A time. I'm not going to lay up to a sand wedge because there's too much danger there. It's better to just clear all this junk in front of me, leave myself a 25, 30 yarder. Or at least, you know, lay it up like that. Nice layup. That's perfect. Just okay, well. girl. Tell Rai. Get Rai. Rai, Oh god, not 125 again. 129. Oh. <laughs> Man alive, I can't stop hitting this distance. What the hell? Why does why do the golf gods hate me so much? <laughs> Clearly someone wants you to buy that club. That's way too hard. Not bad, not bad. Yes. Your um, inside three feet. Oh, shut, dude. I am. Oh, shut. Come on, hole. man, give us an eagle, baby. Wow, that's short. Wow. Yeah, very much. It's much easier on bent grass. <laughs> 